Hey everybody, welcome to this A1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. You ready? So today, I'm going to talk about the supermarket. This is a useful topic because most people buy food from supermarkets. One important note, in the US, many people use the phrase grocery store instead of supermarket. I usually say grocery store, but you can use both. So first, let's talk about big supermarkets. The most famous supermarket is Walmart. Walmart is really big and sells many items. They sell food, clothes, electronics, furniture, and much more. Walmart has everything. In big supermarkets, there are a lot of cheap items. Personally, I don't like big supermarkets. I prefer smaller supermarkets because they often have better products. I like to buy organic food, so I search for small organic stores. These stores are usually more expensive than big supermarkets. Organic food is more expensive than non-organic food. But I think it's worth the price. In big supermarkets, I can't find the products I like. That's why I go to small local stores. There are also some very small supermarkets too. We call these convenience stores. For example, 7-Eleven is a convenience store. These stores sell some food and drinks, but they don't have a lot of items. I go to convenience stores when I need to buy just one or two items. But I don't usually shop at convenience stores. They don't have all the items that I need. How about you? Do you prefer big supermarkets, small supermarkets, or convenience stores? Some people don't go to supermarkets. They buy their groceries online. Nowadays, you can buy everything online. You order it, and someone brings it to your house. This is becoming a popular option. I order some items online, but I don't order food online. OK, now let's learn some important supermarket vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is cart. When you enter a grocery store, you grab a cart. You put all of your items in your cart while you're shopping. Or if you're only buying a few items, you can use a basket, which you carry. Our next word is aisle. Aisles are the rows of products in a store. You walk up and down the aisles when you go shopping. The next phrase is on sale. When an item is on sale, this means that it has a lower price than normal. I love when items are on sale. OK, one more word, cashier. The cashier is the person that you pay when you're done shopping. In the US, cashiers are usually friendly. Nowadays, in some supermarkets, you can pay without a cashier. This is called self-checkout. Some people prefer cashiers, and other people prefer the self-checkout option. I like both options. All right, that's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me where you buy your food. And remember to subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram for more English tips and lessons. I'll see you next time.